Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible as we read John chapter 18 from the King James Version Bible. As we meditate on the Word of God, let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us and guide us and counsel us and also bless us as we read the word. Amen. Amen. The Arrest of Christ. John chapter 18. When Jesus had spoken these words, he went out with his disciples over the brook Kidron, where there was a garden which he and his disciples entered. And Judas, who betrayed him, also knew the place, for Jesus often met there with his disciples. Verse 3. Then Judas, having received a detachment of troops and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, came there with the lantern, torches, and weapons. Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that would come upon him, went forward and said to them, Whom are you seeking? Verse 5. They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. And Judas, who betrayed him, also stood with them. Verse 6. Then he said to them, I am he. They drew back and fell to the ground. Verse 7. Then he asked them again, Whom are you seeking? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Verse 8. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. Therefore, if you seek me, let these go their way. Verse 9. That the saying might be fulfilled which he spoke. Of those whom you gave me, I have lost none. Verse 10. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Verse 11. Then Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword in the sheath. Shall I not drink the cup which my father has given me? Few first Jewish trials before Anas. As we see in the verse 12, then the detachment of the troops and the captain and the officers of the Jews arrested Jesus and bound him. Verse 13, and they led him away to Anas first, for he was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, who was high priest that year. Now it was Caiaphas who gave counsel to the Jews that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. Verse 15. And Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. Now that disciple was known to the high priest and went with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest. But Peter stood at the door outside. Then other disciple, who was known to the high priest, went out and spoke to her who kept the door and brought Peter in. Then the servant's girl who kept the door said to Peter, You are not also one of this man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. Verse 18. And the servants and the officers who had made a fire of coals stood there, for it was cold, and they warmed themselves. And Peter stood with them and warmed himself. Verse 19. The high priest then asked Jesus about his disciples and his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I spoke openly to the world. I always taught in the synagogues and in the temple 
where the Jews always met and in secret I have said nothing. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. Indeed, they know what I said. Verse 22, And when he had said these things, one of the officers who stood by struck Jesus with the palm of his hand, saying, Do you answer the high priest like that? Verse 23, Jesus answered him, If I have spoken evil, bear witness to the evil. But if well, why do you strike me? Second Jewish trial before Caiaphas. Verse 24, Then Anas sent him bound to Caiaphas the high priest. Now Simon Peter stood and warmed himself. Therefore they said to him, You are not also one of his disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. Verse 26, One of the servants of the high priest, a relative of him, whose ear Peter cut off, said, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Peter then denied again, and immediately a rooster crowed. First Roman trial before Pilate. Then they led Jesus from Caiaphas to the Praetorium, and it was early morning, but they themselves did not go into the Praetorium, lest they should be defiled, but they might eat the Passover. Pilate then went out to them and said, What accusations do you bring against this man? Verse 30. They answered and said to him, If he were not an evildoer, we would not have delivered him up to you. Verse 31. Then Pilate said to them, You take him and judge him according to your law. Therefore the Jews said to him, It is not lawful for us to put anyone to death. Verse 32. That the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spoke signifying by what death he would die. Verse 33, Then Pilate entered the praetorium again, called Jesus, and said to him, Are you the king of Jews? Verse 34, Jesus answered him, Are you speaking for yourself on this, or did others tell you this about me? Pilate answered, I am. Am I a Jew? Your own nation and chief priest have delivered you to me. What have you done? Verse 36. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight, and so that I should not be delivered to the Jews but now. My kingdom is not from here. Verse 37. Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born, and for this cause I have come into the world, that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth, Hears my voice. Verse 38. Pilate said to him, What is the truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jews and said to them, I find no fault in him at all. Second Roman trial before Pilate. Verse 39. But you have a custom that I should release someone to you at the Passover. Do you therefore want me to release to you the king of Jews? Verse 40. Then they all cried again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Here ends the chapter. Amen. Amen. God bless the reading. Hallelujah. Yes, beloved, as we saw Jesus Christ 
is the way, the truth and the life. Yes, as we read in John 14 verse 6. And he who believes in him, though he dies, he shall live. As we read in John 11 verse 25, Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life. As we see a very dramatized the chapter was as Christ prays for also all believers before this and as we see the arrest of Christ and also this is what the prophecy was is being done yes and always say thy will be done God will provide all our needs for he knows what is required by us he will provide all our needs he will lead us guide us and help us Psalm 32 verse 8 yes as the word says be still and know that I am God Psalm 46 verse 10 the words are true beloved yes what is your problem my dear sister my dear brother go in the presence of Lord Jesus Christ and put up your request to him surrender yourself in his hands he will take care of you and me yes he will answer a prayer for the word says in Micah 7.7, 7, I will look to the Lord, I will wait for him, and he will answer my prayer. At many times, it is difficult to wait upon the Lord because we are human beings, but we have to wait. When God says to wait, we have to wait. Yes, and beloved, the word says in Revelation 7.10 and Revelation 7.17, the word says he will wipe away our every tear. He will lead us to the living waters. And also, he will be a shepherd. Yes, so be encouraged, my dear sister, my dear brother. For Jesus Christ is a salvation. Revelation 7.10 Yes, and the word goes to you and to me. The word says, behave courageously. As we read in Second Chronicles 19 verse 11. Yes, for we have a mighty God there with us every second, every moment. He will not leave us as orphans. As we read in John 14 verse 18, whatever the word God has planned, it will be done. Remember that, for from the beginning he knows the end. Isaiah 46 verse 10. As we read here right now in John chapter 18, yes, this was the prophecy and it took place. Yes, similarly, it will happen in our life when, when we commit ourselves in his hands. He will take care of us. The word says in 1 Peter 5, 7, Cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. The words are true, beloved. Yes, for as we commit ourselves in his hands, he will carry us. He will carry us even in our gray hair and old age. As we read in Psalm, it is speaking in Isaiah, yes, 46, verse 4. Psalm 46, verse 1 says, The Lord is my refuge. And my strength a very present help in trouble yes the words are true beloved yes a mighty God is present with us he will take care of us and also he will bless us abundantly not meagerly but abundantly as we read in Ephesians 3 20 as we read the mighty word yes it is speaking to you and to me from Psalm we read yes 38 verse 6 yes when we submit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ he will take care of us and all our needs. He is a Yahweh Ire. God will provide. Genesis 22 verse 14. Yes, he is a Yahweh Shammah, Yahweh El Shaddai, Yahweh Roi, Yahweh Rafeka, Eshu Nasi, Eshu Masiha, Malekha Malekim. He is a Eshu Asara Shalom, Eshu Tizat Kenu, Yeshu Tazarusi. He is a mighty God, beloved. Yes, and he will provide all our needs. Yes, what is your request today, my dear brother? My dear sister, go in the presence of Lord Jesus Christ. He will take care of you and me. He will provide our needs. Yes, for he has all power and authority. Matthew 28, yes, and also the evil spirits, the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Ishu Masiha. Yes, the words are true. Yes, he is the omnipotent God who reigns as we read in Revelation 19 verse 6. Yes, and also to my brothers, my sisters, who say the past have been a waste, remember, the word comes to you and to me. Joel 2.19-27, the word says, He will restore to you 
the years the locusts have, have eaten. You shall never be put to shame. You shall never be put to shame. The words are true, beloved. Yes. So everything is at hand. We have to just seize the day. When we submit ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, we will be a new man, new woman. All our old nature will go away. All our weakness, sickness is gone. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, as let the weak say I am strong, the word says in Joel 3, yes, verse 10, yes, beloved. And also Jesus Christ is knocking at the door of your heart and my heart. Let us open the door and also he is knocking at the door of our house, yes, beloved. When we open the door, he will come in and sup with us, Revelation 3, verse 20, yes. And also he will bless us with abundance of peace, of joy and with happiness. The words are true, beloved. Yes, you will bless us with peace and joy and happiness. These are the fruits of Holy Spirit. Yes, let us receive it. Galatians 5.22 and 1 Corinthians 10 verse 12. Yes, beloved. Yes, as we read in 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9. Yes, these are the gifts of Holy Spirit. Yes, everything is at hand. We have to just seize the day and be victorious in life. For all my brothers and sisters, who are in the sick bed, for the children, for the youth who are not well. We pray, Lord Jesus Christ, heal them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Let they be healed in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. For with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, you heal us. Isaiah 53, verse 5. Heal them, Apayava. Yes, for with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, you heal us. Heal them in the name of Yahweh Rafaika. Yes. The name of our all names, Yahweh Shamma, Yahweh Al Shirai, Yahweh Rui, Yahweh Rafeka. Yes, and also He is our Emmanuel, God with us. Yes, He is the morning star for us, and He is our banner. He is our Ishunisi. Yes, beloved. He is our everything and our all. Yes, we have the Bible. Let us make it a point to read the Bible every day, beloved. Give at least half an hour to read the Bible and to pray. Half an hour from the 24 hours. It is not difficult, isn't it? Let us meditate on the word of God. For when we meditate on the word of God, we will have wealth and richness in our house. The words are true as we read the mighty word. Yes, from Psalm, it says in 112. Yes, and also the word says, when we fear the Lord and when we keep his commandments and when we serve him, We'll have prosperity all our days and pleasure all our years. As we read in Job 36 verse 11, the words are true, beloved. Yes, the Bible is the manna to our soul. It is the roadmap of life. It is the good news. Yes, beloved. Luke chapter 2. Yes, and our God is the God of living, not the dead, and all live to him. Luke 20 verse 38. Yes, so seize the day. God has gone ahead of us. He's already gone ahead of us and he's already sent us. Judges 4.14, Judges 6.14. Let us be bold and also walk in his way, beloved. Yes. And whatever is your request, whether it is your secret problem, whether it is your personal problem, go in the presence of the King of Kings. As we respect our boss, our director, let us respect our living God, the maker of heaven and earth. The words are true, beloved. The word says in Psalm 121, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will speak to you, beloved. The words are true. Open the Bible. Jesus Christ will speak to you. There are 40,000 checks in the Bible. Encash it with your own signature. Not a king or a queen's signature. Hallelujah. And the word goes even to the prisoners. Yes, the word says, go forth. God is speaking to you. As we read in Isaiah 49, verse 9, and for those who are in darkness, the word is saying, God is saying to you, yes, go, it says, show forth yourself. Yes, the word of God is for everyone, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're lame, whether you're blind, whether you're sick, whether you're well. Yes, Jesus Christ will bless you, my dear brother, my dear sister. There will be showers of blessing in your house and my house. Ezekiel 34.26 Every barrier will be gone in the name of Ishmael Jesus of Nazareth. Yes, 
for now is the time of salvation now is the time of lord's favor go in his presence beloved yes and put up your request yes he is a loving father and he comforts us as loving mother as we read the mighty word as as 63 64 and as as 66 verse 13 he comforts us as a loving mother yes there may be nobody in you with you but remember jesus christ is there with you and the word says in deuteronomy 31 verse 6 yes the word says yes be strong be courageous yes be bold for he will never leave you nor forsake you the words are true beloved yes come what may do not quit in life do not give up in life do not commit suicide jesus christ loves you yes and also when we have the holy spirit we will act ask for the holy spirit acts 18 yes when we have the holy spirit we will act yes the holy spirit will take the whole charge of us for a body is a temple of living god a body is a temple of the living god beloved yes yes it is a temple of holy spirit let us keep it holy pure and clean yes for we are his vessel we are his children whatever the habits you are unable to overcome it whatever the addictions are there jesus christ will help you to overcome it just pray and submit yourself in his hands he will give you a breakthrough in your business he will give you a blessing in your home he will give you peace in your home he will give you joy in your home yes these things cannot be purchased with millions of dollars also isn't it the peace the joy jesus christ is the prince of peace and the joy of the lord is my strength name me it in yes jesus christ is with us my dear brother my dear sister yes and also he will take care of us yes he will never leave us nor forsake us so be encouraged and remember jesus christ is the way the way there's no other way the way the truth and the life john 14 was 6 yes do like and subscribe the channel arise and shine alfred rathod and family usa this is dr mrs alfred james rathod speaking for the channel as god has called me to be a prophetess evangelist and priest i am here in your service yes i would like to say as for me in my house we will serve the lord joshua 24 was 15 as the confirmation of the call has been made from numbers chapter 17 yes beloved and the prophecy for this year for you and me as we read the mighty word from jeremiah 29 verse 11 the word says yes i know your thoughts I have plans of future hope prosperity peace and welfare for you and me yes beloved everything is at hand seize the day and remember jesus christ is there with you yes he will never leave you nor forsake you the words are true as we read in also joshua 1 verse 9 and also there is nothing impossible with him matthew 19:26 luke 1:37 for all your prayer request do send us an email the email id is given in the description yes the address is given and also the people all my brothers sisters who wish to send the tithes for the blind mission that we have you can send the thanksgiving offering the free will offering on the link which is given in the description god bless you abundantly beloved as we read in ephesians 3 verse 20 and psalm 38 verse 6 yes and also yes there will be showers of blessing in your house and my house ezekiel 34 26 so be victorious in life for as we read in proverbs 21 verse 31 the words are true the horse is made ready for the day of battle but the victory rests with the mighty god the deliverance rests with the mighty god yes it is true i am his witness I want you also to taste and see the Lord is good blessed is the man who trusts in him Psalm we read in 32 verse 8 trust the Lord at all times yes the words are true as we read the mighty word yes it is speaking to you and to me Psalm 62 verse 8 hallelujah be blessed today and every day god bless you number 6 verse 24 to 27 amen amen hallelujah amen